welcome let's look at this jump pass questions physics 2018 question number 14 shadows and eclipses result from the a refraction of light b reflection of light c diffraction of light d rectilinear propagation of light so which of the following causes or uh, which of the following causes the shadows and eclipses what causes the shadows and eclipses is it the refraction of light is it reflection of light or is it diffraction or rectilinear propagation of light now the right option is rectilinear propagation of light because all these are caused by the movement of light in a straight path so whenever you have your light and it moves in a straight path if something is blocking it you have what to call shadows and eclipse and you know that eclipse happens when the sun is at the middle then with the earth revolving around it and also the moon revolving around the earth so whenever the moon is in between the earth this is the earth and the sun you have what to call eclipse which is a special kind of shadow that is being cast on the earth because of the blocking caused by the moon and this is actually because the sun is emitting light that is traveling in a straight line and motion of light in a straight line is known as rectilinear propagation of light so whenever you hear the word rectilinear it simply means movement of light in a straight line movement of light in a straight line and that is why option option d is the correct option so rectilinear propagation of light is the movement movement of light rays of light rays in a straight line that is what red linear propagation and this red linear propagation of light causes so many things not just the shadows and the eclipse it is the cause of number one shadows shadows are caused by red linear movement of light in a straight line number two eclipses eclipses is as a result of this then you also have application like the pinhole camera if you know about the pinhole camera that you use in physics it is also due to the red linear propagation of light and finally we have what to call the ray box the ray box all these are possible because of the movement of light in a straight line which is known as red linear propagation of light so uh, refraction is another uh, property of light reflection and diffraction but this reflect and when you talk about uh, reflection you're talking about when you have a plane mirror and you have a you have the incident ray then you have the reflected ray then when you talk about refraction you talk about when you have a prism then you have light coming here then instead of being ref uh, reflected it goes in here and comes out like this this is the refraction so we have refraction of light all these are different motions of light this is reflection so these are different motions of light but the ones that are responsible for sh the very uh, movement of light that is responsible for shadows eclipses pinhole camera uh, effect and the red box effect is the movement of light in a straight line which is also known as rectilinear propagation of light thank you